All right, have you gained a couple of pounds? Maybe you're feeling really tired all of a sudden. I don't know. Insomnia is happening as well. Headaches. This could be a hormone imbalance. And hormones are such a buzzword right now when it comes to health. So we brought on Dr. Andrew Peterson. He is from the Whole Torf Medical Group located there in Utah County. And why? Why is everyone talking about this right now? And what role do hormones play in all of our health, our right. overall body health? Well, hormones are important for everybody, no matter what age. Um, a hormone is a molecule that, that sends a message. And so it doesn't really matter whether we're three or we're 90. We need those molecules to be working so that our body can communicate from one organ system to another. Um, if, they, if they aren't functioning properly or they're out of balance, our ability to regenerate our, our healthy tissue declines. There are so many different types of hormones. Are there certain ones that we need to, as women, target or think about or be concerned about? Sure. I think the ones that um, affect your, your health most dramatically as they change, um, the thyroid hormone, and then the adrenal hormones, the hormones that are made in your adrenal glands as well as your ovaries. And those hormones include uh, progesterone, um, estrogen, testosterone, cortisol. There's others that are less significant players, but those four make a huge difference as they decline or fluctuate. Well, Anne mentioned symptoms like just feeling tired, feeling, I don't know, depression, gaining weight. Are those the things that, that we need to think about and then say, I should have my hormones checked? To some extent, yes. I mean, if you're having those symptoms, so often we say, oh, you're, you're depressed, and we treat you with an antidepressant, but we don't look for the cause of the depression. Uh, the cause could be that you have an imbalance in those hormones. Your progesterone is low relative to your estrogen, um, or your cortisol is going up because of stress. Your testosterone drops. As, it's, as cortisol goes up, the others all drop. But the relationship between estrogen and progesterone, that's so fluctuating in women, especially with pregnancy. Um, periods, if you have real crampy pms -y periods, you probably have low progesterone. How do you get it checked? Just go to the doctors? Well, you can have it checked three different ways, a blood test, a saliva test, and a urine test. And there's a lot of argument about, well, which one's the best way. They're all good ways, and they all tell you a little bit of different information. Um, but yeah, a, a physician that knows how to look at those results can help you. The, one of the downsides is that the normal levels are so broad, because the levels of progesterone, for instance, for a 18-year-old woman will be dramatically different than for a 50-year-old woman, but they both fall inside the normal reference range, right? So if you're 30 and they say, oh, well, it's a little low, but you're normal, well, it might be normal if you were 50, right, but it's certainly not good for you at 30. Yeah, you need a doctor that knows how to read your results. What if I feel fine? What if I feel healthy? Do I need my hormones checked? I think if you feel fine and you're young, you probably, it's probably not the most important thing to do, but as we age, even if our levels, say our progesterone and our estrogen, both start to go down, and that's what happens around menopause, well, now we have a greater risk for cancer problems. We have a greater risk for um, especially breast cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, because those levels that keep those tissues healthy have dropped. So you may feel okay because the balance is all right, mm -hmm. but they're low, and now your risk of cancer goes up. So later down the road, it could really affect you. Absolutely. If you don't get a check. Which is why sometime between 45 and 55, it's worth looking into even if you feel okay. Now, I don't think you have to rush right out and spend a whole bunch of money. If you say, I feel fine, let's wait. But if you want to do the, everything you can to prevent cancer, it's a worthwhile thing to do. So you say 45 and on, but you've checked people as young as in their 20s. Oh, that are absolutely. Having these issues if, a person has, if a person has symptoms, then they probably have a hormonal imbalance, whether it's their thyroid or their adrenal hormones. And there's others as well. There's leptin that's produced in the fat. There's... Um, uh, insulin that's produced in the pancreas, all of those are affected by each other. And so if you don't feel well, then it doesn't matter your age. Okay, so I'm sitting at home right now and I'm saying, oh, you know what, I'm sitting here right now and I'm saying, <laughs> insomniac, yes, I have that problem. Have I gained a couple of pounds? Yeah, I've gained a couple of pounds. What were some of the other symptoms? I think I had like nine out of ten of them. So should I have my hormones checked? I think it's worthwhile. I mean, how often do we go to the doctor and we have blood tests done and we say, oh, you're healthy? Well, if really all we're checking is your kidney function, your liver function, and your, your complete blood count, which just tells us, are you anemic and are you making blood cells? And, and that's what we do, and we're told, well, we're healthy. We're missing an entire section of how our body communicates with itself to keep us healthy. So, yeah, well, and I think that's so. interesting because I just had blood work done last and, month. And that's right. not what they check for. See, and I called it a buzzword, but I had no idea how interconnected it is with your entire body's health. 
Right. Well, it's the way that your body talks from one organ to another. Mm -hmm. You know, I can look at what's called your creatinine, and I can say independently your kidneys are healthy. But how are they communicating with your bones to make new blood cells? Well, it's erythropoietin, and we're not checking that. You know, so not that not that that's a necessary. That, that's not like progesterone or estrogen that that's going to drop. But the communication from one organ system to another that's hormones. Dr. Peterson knows all of this information. If it's new to you and you need to chat to an expert, Holtorf Medical Group is located in Provo. Their address right there on your screen. You can also go to HoltorfMed.com. That's the website. You can take a peek, get your information and their phone number, or go to our website and we'll link you ABC4.com and then click on Good Things Utah. Thank Thank you for being here. I might be the first person calling you, <laughs> doctor. We'll be ready. Thank you so much. Great. From your inner struggles to your troubles at home, there is a dance production. It is all about what so many of us are feeling. We're going to introduce you to war coming up.